Hi, I'm Glenn. I'll be your instructor for Art 110 this summer. Hope we have a good time uh, thinking about art this summer. The summer class is a little bit different. Well, actually the content is pretty much the same or fairly similar to fall and spring, but the difference is that the fall and the spring class is uh, a whole bunch of freshmen and a chunk of sophomores and just a couple of seniors and juniors and summer is flipped. Summer is a whole bunch of seniors, graduating seniors needing to pick up a class obviously, and then a chunk of juniors and only a couple of freshmen and sophomores. So a little bit different that way. Most of you are getting ready to, to finish your time at Long Beach State and head out into the world, but whatever year you might be, and most summers we have one person from some school other than Long Beach State, like Penn State or Cal Poly SLO or wherever, so if you're where, wherever you are from and, and wherever you're taking the class from this summer, as you know, it's uh, online asynchronous, so you never have to be in any physical place and you never have to be anywhere at any specific time. The only thing you have to do is turn stuff in by midnight Sunday, California time. But other than that, uh, the time and the place is all on your own. So uh, most students, actually, most of your classmates are going to be here in the Southern California area but uh, you know a couple of people maybe you um, will go home to hong kong or stockholm or fresno uh, for the summer and take the class from there so it's all good and um, jet noise really for everyone but especially i think for you know more as you're finishing up your time at long beach State, you really value uh, the asynchronous class, the chance to not be tied to a, a time and a place, but to be able to live your busy life and, and do the class that you, as you like. Uh, however, college students tend to like to meet other college students, and so there is some disappointment. Even though you want the asynchronous, there's some disappointment that you don't really get to interact with your classmates. So uh, I've got some optional things that will let you interact if you'd like to. Uh, we'll have a couple at least. Um, optional face-to-face -face meetups so if if you're home in Stockholm or Hong Kong or Fresno or you know just busy um, they're totally optional you can these are all going to be activities you can do in your backyard on your balcony wherever um, but we'll have a couple of chances to meet up at the Seal Beach Pier and try our sculpture activity or meet up at uh, the Venice Beach Art Walls and try our painting activity. So some ways to meet your classmates and interact if you're in the area and, and you'd like to. Also, I'll have um, uh, a lunch at the art gallery. So Mondays I'll hop on Zoom at noon um, and you can pop in, bring your lunch, just come and go anytime you like, but a chance, I can talk about specific things, um, I can, you know, show a little bit of my work or talk about what we're doing that week or whatever, but more importantly, I'd actually really like it just to be kind of a hangout time for you to get to know your classmates. Um, you know, it, it feels to me like in the future, we are going to go more online, N not necessarily because of things like COVID, although that may be that too but just for the expense and the convenience. And I think it's, it, it could be the case that face-to-face -face education becomes um, kind of a luxury for the rich. And the thing is, you know, if you wanna learn math or art or engineering or philosophy or anything else, you can learn really well online. There's, you know, great information and you can totally develop yourself, but the, the, the human thing which college students crave because you're young and, you know, well, you could be any age, but most college students, the majority of college students are younger, um, and starting life, that face-to-face that -face human meet-your-peers thing that you crave just on a social level, that's also, you know, the, the way that you build both a career and just a happy life. Um, and so access to other people, whether it's other people in your field who you can kind of, you know, talk shop with, compare notes with, or people in other fields who, you know, you might be able to use their skills, they might be able to use your skills. So, um, you know, meeting your peers, meeting, you know, old guys like me and people of any age and any walk of life, always valuable, but meeting your own peers who are 
you know, here at Long Beach State with you and, you know, graduating college and starting lives and careers at the same time as you, it's really just priceless. So I really want to encourage you to connect, to, to come to the optional meetups if you're in the area, to drop in on Mondays at noon California time. And again, we can talk about activities or anything you want, but really more than anything else, you know, for me, maybe to shut up a little bit, that's kind of hard to do, but, uh, and, and meet each other. Okay, anyway, just really quick about the class. We got the syllabus and, and we'll explain otherwise, but um, uh, so there's, there's no midterm, there's no final, there's no quizzes, there's no, none of that stuff. Uh, I think, you know, as, as lazy human beings, we kind of need that carrot dangling in front of us and that stick whacking us on the back to keep us moving forward. Um, and I think that's true. I mean, artists, I think, if, you know, if there weren't deadlines, no artist would ever finish anything. So I think um, deadlines and carrots and sticks do have some value, but the problem is that they, they get everything confused. Uh, college becomes about points and grades instead of about building a career or developing yourself as a person or, you know, all, all of the intrinsic things that should matter get replaced by this obsession with points and grades, which are meaningless. Um, so what I've tried to do, we, we do still have grades because I'm sure you would do nothing if I didn't have some carrot or stick, but um, I've tried at least to get rid of stuff like midterms and finals and quizzes, which tend to be just about memorizing stuff and have it be more experiential, have, about you, have it be about you learning and doing. Um, so basically, you're going to go grab a free blog, uh, whatever you want. It could be, you know, WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, Medium, Wix, whatever you want. Grab a free blog. We're going to do two things every week, and you make two blog posts every week. Uh, every week, you're going to try something. I mentioned like a sculpture activity, uh, which could be done at uh, the Seal Beach Pier with the gang, but you could do anywhere. Uh, a painting activity, which could be done at the Venice Beach Art Walls. Uh, with the gang or anywhere uh, and then just various other art activities we'll try one every week and then also every week I'll give you the name of one or probably two artists uh, living artists to look up so you know Andy Warhol Pablo Picasso and a whole bunch of people before them are amazing and worth knowing and thinking about we can't do everything in one summer so even though the dead artists are important and valuable and interesting we're gonna let the dead artists go uh, I love them and you may too and you may learn about them in the future but this summer we're gonna try stuff ourselves once a week and once a week we're gonna look at a couple of living artists people even if they're older maybe but they're still walking this earth inhabiting this planet dealing with 2022 with me with you with all of us so that's pretty much the story I will see you soon looking forward to uh, a fun summer I hope it's um, I hope it's not, I mean, I know it's a GE class, but I really hope that it enriches you uh, as a person and also enriches your career. You know, whatever your career might be, business engineering uh, or any other non-arts thing, or we usually have a few arts majors, maybe a dance major, some film majors. But um, w wherever you are, even if your career is far from art, I hope that some of what you do this summer um, is not only personally enriching and fun and fun, interesting, exciting, and enjoyable, but also um, can become part of your kind of career skill set. Uh, you know, engineering is going to be a lot about technical things, but there is going to be artistry to that as well. So these may be valuable, I hope. And uh, each week there'll be a write-up on, on our class website, my blog, that um, that tells you what to do this week and gives you the details and so on and every week there will be a section uh, called useful where I will try to explain why not only is this interesting and teach you about art and so on but you may actually be able to use this in your non-art life going forward so um, anyway that's enough for me I hope you have a great summer in and out of Art 110 and I will see you soon bye for now